Gemini, hello, hello. Welcome to your June general reading. <laughs> if you have Gemini in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross watching for someone that you know that's a Gemini, this is for you. <laughs> Please feel free to like the video, comment down below, leave your feedback if it does resonate. Um, it helps me so much as a reader, as a shadow work coach. It helps people find my channel as well, right? People with other Gemini placements get the message. Um, otherwise, yeah, at the time of this recording, we're about to head into Mercury Retrograde. Obviously, we're well into it, probably almost getting ready to come out um, by the time this comes out. But we're going to see what's coming for you for the month of June. Um, what energies are working with you, against you, what we should do. Okay, so shadow card, six of swords in the reverse. We can't seem to let something go, move on possibly, okay? Um, I don't know if this is physically moving, right? Breaking um, a connection or leaving a job, a home, a town, right? Or energetically, um, with your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. Um, hmm. It could be your emotions because we're showing up, look at this, as the Knight of Cups in the reverse water energy with, oh my gosh, your emotions, no kidding. Sorry, I'm just seeing this now. Your challenge is the King of Cups. So knowing how you feel, standing in your power, um, being there for yourself, you know, not needing anyone else. You guys may have um, gone through either a breakup or decided to not offer your heart to someone, possibly be feeling rejected. Let's see what this is. Three of Cups, soulmate connection here. Very, very deep spiritual bond. The Queen of Flowers. This is the Alice in Wonderland tarot. So um, that's equivalent to the Queen of Wands. And the Knight of Teacups in the reverse. Knight of Cups in the reverse, clarifying the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is rejection. It really, really hurts your ego because you're like, why don't you feel this connection? Like, I feel very connected to you. Why are we not honoring this? I recognize this connection. Why don't you? Why can't we work this out? It's very, very, very much coming in as... A rejection of your love and at the bottom of the deck is the six of cups in the reverse walk in this only connection tell me about this king of cups please as the challenge it's like i feel like this is like picking your heart up <laughs> look at all these emotions the cups ten of cups in the reverse yeah you could have this could have been um somebody you had a family with or saw the potential Okay, that kind of a thing here. Ten of Swords. This could have even been like a family member that you feel like you had to cut out of your life, right? That wasn't healthy. You felt betrayed. And it's really, it's really hard to not take the betrayal personally and to recognize that somebody is going through their own shit and to just like cut that cord with them. Romantic or not. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Hedgehogs in this tarot. Um, yeah, we invested so much in this. Time, money, finances, love. Um, for no finished product, you know, for no end goal. We're very disappointed. That's what's coming in here. Um, also, we could feel like we're not stable, either financially, mentally, emotionally. Look at that same shadow card right now but we want peace that's the challenge right finding the peace if we can manage to show up for ourselves and not lose ourselves in the emotion and feeling this rejection okay that's our i feel like that's our first step to healing your focus is on working with somebody okay this is um a collaboration energy i don't know if this is like you just at work like just really focused doing that um or if this is like a friendship, you leaning on support for others, 
a specific relationship where you're like, can we just work on being friends, right? Like taking a step back from a romantic relationship, maybe. Six of Swords. Yeah, you want to move on to a more peaceful chapter, okay? I see that, but you feel like you don't have to do it alone, and I love that. You have, like, a goal of working with somebody or you recognize that you have support. Two of Swords in the reverse. Perhaps you felt like you didn't in the past or you didn't want to recognize that you weren't alone, right? I, I feel like that's why I was hesitant. It's like I feel like you're fighting the I'm alone in this. Hmm. Page of teacups. Yeah, there may be somebody that's like helping you out. That's like really supportive. Or again, if this is somebody that you're taking a step back from romantically, the foundation of the relationship, right? Of being in a good place, being in a peaceful place um, means a lot. Knight of Swords in the reverse is the past. The Fool. There was an opportunity for a beginning and we ran away from it. Or we ran in the wrong direction. We went back to something in our past. We repeated a cycle. Oh yeah. It could have been somebody you had a falling out with and they were like, can we please try again? And you were like, yep. Like it shows you like running towards this opportunity. Mm, Gemini wanted to learn the hard way. Maybe you had to. Oh, you did learn, though, as I say that. The Page of Hedgehogs, so the Page of Pentacles, is the Shadow card. So you were absolutely learning lessons. Let me tell you about your Strength card right now, okay? The Knight of Wands in the reverse, the fact you're not forcing it. You're not holding on with all your might, refusing to let go, right? Spirit wants you to know that you're being very realistic and that's recognized. The sun in the reverse. Yeah, because when we hold on and suffocate something to death, it just like illuminates how unhappy we are and how it's a block, right? And it feels like we're going against the grain and like fighting an uphill battle, right? We feel alone. Like we get the short end of the stick on everything. Yeah. I love this. This is literally saying, I'm just going with the flow. What happens, happens. I just want to be in alignment. Again, that's Six of Swords. I just want peace, right? That's now the goal. It's not so much attached to a specific person. Good for you, Gem. Good for you. Strength in the reverse. And you're fighting your triggers because it is hard. I mean, hello, you're dealing with double abandonment triggers. I see it with the Knight of Cups in the reverse twice right smack dab in the beginning of your reading it sucks it's right in your face it feels like okay but you're dealing with it and you're doing a really good job okay going forward there's some passion so that's interesting perhaps this friendship could be turning into something more maybe you're being ignited by something let's see tell me about the knight of wands for june i feel like this is an energy coming towards you it could be a fire sign you could also have that in your chart of course six of flowers Somebody wants to be seen, recognized. They don't want to be held back anymore. They want to live their life. They want to have a life too. Like, you know, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, two of hedgehogs. I'm trying to learn what makes me feel good, what makes me feel passionate, instead of just sitting in the mundane, right? Yes, 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 yes. There's your strength position, the nine of wands in the reverse, and also... The ace of pentacles in the reverse i tried everything i could to create something right hold on to something make something work i release that's the energy i release i surrender it's not an i give up it's just like i release and i welcome what's for me by the way beautiful gemini gorgeous i love this for you mercury retrograde is doing you well even though it probably doesn't feel grace <laughs> your advice is do your thing here's some of your energy virgo as well the magician manifest you're in a beautiful place 
now that you're moving into alignment and you're like, I want peace, I deserve peace, I want to be happy, beautiful time to manifest. Gorgeous. That's the best time. We don't want to manifest from a place of lack. We want to manifest from believing, truly, genuinely believing that we deserve happiness. We deserve. There's something just about inner peace. <laughs> There's your energy. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate, perhaps. Again, aligning with your purpose. Wow. Queen of Swords speaking your truth. Oh, my God. The world in the reverse. Wow. You are absolutely manifesting the end to this cycle. You know that it no longer aligns with you. It's very painful, but you're ready to be very honest and cut it out. Almost speak up for yourself more. Use your voice. Yeah. Spirit is saying that you can have a new life when you're ready to ask for it. You know? Very cool. Um... The page of flowers is at the bottom of the deck. So definitely listen to your intuition. Like, what is it that excites you? What is it that you're drawn to? That's what spirit wants you to focus on, okay? Also, what you don't see coming. This that we talked about with all the emotion, when we started off in the reading, the six of cups in the reverse, it's back. Okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse and what you don't see coming. So there's that fire energy showing up again, but it's like burnt out passion. It's like what I used to want, it doesn't, I don't even want it anymore. I'm not even passionate about it anymore. Like, and I, it's coming from a good place. Like, I think you're evolving. I think you're growing and you recognize that that was like an old outdated version of you. Look at that, page of flowers. <laughs> we came right back to it. Exactly. That's what your intuition's telling you. Even though it sucks and it hurts and it's very painful, I'm sure, um, at the time of this recording and probably while you're watching it because this isn't what you don't see coming, so it's coming towards you soon. Um, but yeah, there's something about like this is your shedding process. That's why it's uh, in your strength that you're not holding on to this anymore because now you're going to recognize it for what it is. Probably something karmic, something you had to learn from. And that's going to bring you <laughs> that peace that I've been talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Transformation in the reverse. Death. And the Ten of Wands is right underneath that. The Magician in the reverse. Yeah, you are absolutely ending this cycle. But again, Spirit says it has to be your choice. Queen of Swords. Unapologetic. Unapologetic. Okay, speaking the truth. This is what it is. This is how I feel. I'm walking away. And it's my, it's my choice. It's not being done to me, right? We're truly seeing that the rejection, that Knight of Cups in the Reverse, the Knight of Cups in the Reverse, that was a redirection. We never would have been fulfilled anyway. We have a different purpose. We have a different path to walk. And that's not in revenge or anger and spiteful. It's just in our truth right? That peace comes from the forgiveness that this didn't work out. Like, oh my God, like, thank God it didn't work out because I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't have this opportunity, etc. Okay. Um, speaking of the page of wands, this keeps coming up now. It's in the reverse from your soul is a message from your soul and your hopes and fears. So yeah, your soul is really nervous that you're going to continue to ignore it. And because it's comfortable to want something or to keep focusing on the lack, right? And like reliving that cycle, we saw that death in the reverse. Um, seven of flowers. Oh yeah, we have like our guard up because it sucks, it hurts. It hurts to go through this pain and the wheel of fortune, the reverse is right underneath that. This has to do something about with you having boundaries. Hmm. seven of swords in the reverse and being very honest with yourself maybe being honest with yourself that you need to have a wall up now right and your focus was that friendship if you're trying to keep like yourself on good terms with somebody but it's so exhausting I don't know I don't you take it how it resonates with you. Going forward is that seven of swords in the reverse though. So you're being honest. You're doing it. 
Whatever this means for you, you're doing it. You're being honest. You're taking the mask off. You're not bullshitting anymore yourself or others. It's not to keep the peace. It's just embracing your truth. And it is what it is. Beautiful, the hermit. I'm literally, I've been saying this for so long, but I swear I was going through like my own hermit thing. But anyway, um, I was like learning the true lesson before I make the video, but I'm about to make this video. Maybe it's even out by now. Keep an eye out for it in my timeless playlist. I will try to be so mindful to link it. Like if one of you remind me, I will. But anyway soul searching and like authentic soul searching not guarded soul searching okay not limited or watered down soul searching genuine soul searching what is it that you want look at the six of cups in the reverse that keeps coming up there's some type of trauma okay this is more than a breakup from a soul connection i looked at it like that the first two times the third time it comes out now i have to definitely look deeper i'm actually going to pull on that in a second Queen of Cups, a lot of love. The way you show love, judgment in the reverse. Oh yeah, there we have to look at this. It's very deep in your shadow. There's, it's probably has to do with that abandonment wound or feeling rejected or not enough. Um, like your love isn't enough. Something about you always having to be in the background or never seen. Ten of Swords in the reverse. deep 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 rejection and we hate conflict like we always feel like we lose whenever there's like confrontation we feel like we're gonna lose some of you may have been in an abusive relationship or like a narcissistic all we want is peace oh my god the six of swords has like come out like in all three decks multiple times and it's because your inner child just wants peace they just want peace they don't want to live in survival mode anymore can we talk about this judgment in the reverse please tell me about this we're going a little bit deeper for gemini for the shadow work okay so we rush things I see that because the Knight of Swords is underneath this. Oh yeah, there's that death card in the reverse Scorpio energy. This is a cycle about we move too fast. We don't take our time. We don't pay attention to red flags maybe. We don't know stability. Yeah. Oh wow, here you are, Gemini. Double Gemini energy. The lovers and the magician. We feel like we need something outside of ourselves to feel stable, to feel seen, to feel validated, to have peace. That Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I can't believe how strong that is. It's outweighing the lovers and the magician right now. Because you're manifesting from a beautiful place. You have a lot of love in your heart and you desperately want a new beginning, but you don't take the time to realize what that really looks like, which is why it's such a beautiful thing. But now you are. Your soul searching the seven of swords in the reverse being clarified by the hermit. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Okay. Taking a little time for you to discover who you are. Anything else, spirit for Gemini? Oh, there's two. So for the third time, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Really deal with the uncomfortable feelings that come up with rejection when it comes to love with you either giving or receiving. Seven of Cups in reverse. The way you limit yourself. Walking away from something you put a lot of energy into. And taking a leap of faith is exactly what you're being guided to do. You need to detach, okay? The devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, the fool, Aries, Aquarius energy. Spirit is saying, we know you put so much into this in the past, right? You could have been at a job for 25 years. You could have been in a marriage for 25 years, okay? Spirit understands this. You're still meant to evolve. 
it's time for like level up Gem Gemini, level two Gemini. That's okay. Give yourself permission. Your life isn't looking how you thought it would. It doesn't make your past or what you had any less sacred, divine, important. There was so much you had to learn. Like you didn't lose. It helped you become the person you are. And now you're ready. You are ready. You are ready for this new beginning. You were not ready before. You couldn't have become who you are and taken the step had you not gone through what you did you learned who you were in your soul and now you have the foundation to support that you know how to speak for yourself you know who you are on the inside and what you want on the outside not just talking about love i'm talking about in life okay and you did the fucking shadow work <laughs> that's great <coughs> excuse me wow all right, Gemini, that's what I see for you. I hope that this helps. Again, like, comment down below, feedback if you want a personal. My email is in the description box below. Email me. I'd love to book you um, for a reading or a coaching session. So, yeah, take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves and have a good day on purpose. See you on the next one.